Beware, today we cut some mythical beast's hair. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. In the book of mythicality, remember that? Yeah, right here, look. We it's devoted an entire chapter to empowering you to make a bold hair choice. Yeah, we did. To express yourself on your head, that's mm -hmm. what we said. And that's something that we have tried to do personally throughout the years. Yeah, it is. But today, we have found two mythical beasts who are willing to make the boldest of hairstyle choices. Mm -hmm. Arguably much more bolder than the choices that we've made on our own heads yep. because they are going to let us cut their hair and create entirely new looks completely at our own discretion. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is very bold. I mean, do you think they're gonna walk away feeling good about this decision? Oh, sure. Yes, of course. I yeah. mean, it, it can't be as hard as shoeing a horse, right? Is Butch here? No, he's not helping with this. Oh, dang. Uh, but we better get to wilding and hairstyling before they change their minds. It's time for. The beasts are trusting us to reimagine their hair. If we mess up real bad, please promise not to stare. Welcome to the main stage, get it? Zone. Yeah, like a, like the mane of a lion. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. <laughs> and let's go ahead and bring out our victims, I mean, special guests. guests. Brittany and Lenny, come on out. Hello. Welcome to Hi. the show. Hey, Brittany. Nice to meet you. Hey, Lenny. Hello. We, hey, only, Lenny. we only greet one. Hello. No, Hi. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Okay, so Brittany, we'll start with you. Okay. Do you know what's about to happen? No, should I? Well, you're gonna well, get your hair cut. You know where you're at, right? Maybe. You, you signed up for this. <laughs> My understanding is we put out a call to Mythical Beast. You both responded and said, yes, I would love for Rhett or Link to cut my hair. Yep. Pretty much, that's exactly what happened. That Why right. did you agree, to, agree to that? Because the hair grows back and I'm tired of it and you guys have great hair, so I think you know what yeah. you're doing. Well, okay. we don't cut our own hair. <laughs> okay, you style it, don't you? Yep, we style it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about you, Lenny? What, what are you eager or uh, trepidated? Yeah, pretty eager. I've actually been cutting my own hair for like the last six years. Oh, so okay. it's actually been a little while. Not bad, but we can definitely uh, improve yeah. on both of you. No, no offense. Yeah, we'll see. Do, do I love we... what you're doing, but I don't know. Uh, there's, is there a compliment in there? I love you guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Do we have your enthusiastic consent to do whatever our muses tell us to do to your heads. Uh, yes? Yep, for sure. All right, sit down before you <laughs> change your mind. Sit down. All right, all right. Okay. All right, so we're, we're, we're not just gonna get started. We are gonna get some level of formal training. Yes, we have a professional hairstylist, a real life hairstylist. Please welcome Jamie. Oh, lots of clapping this morning. Hi, Jamie. Hi. How hey, you Jamie. Doing? Good. How are you guys doing? Come on, come on over. Don't be shy. We're not all nervous right. at all about, uh, <laughs> you know, having our way with uh, these heads. So, these can you teach us everything we need to know about cutting and styling hair in like less than two minutes? I will do my best. Have you ever taught anyone how to cut hair? I yeah, <laughs> I have. Yeah. That sounds like maybe, not not in this short maybe. amount of time, but we can do it. All right, let's let's get to it. Okay, Jamie, is this a young lady who donated her head to cosmetology? Yes, she did. She's ready for her haircut. All right, so what, what should we know Does first? Does she have a name? Okay, so what's her name? Oh, Judy. Judy. Judy Mendez. This Judy. is This is Sean's I, older sister. <laughs> I don't think you have to give last names to mannequins. But. How's Sean? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, tell us what to do because we, oh, 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 oh. I think, okay. All right. Uh, is that was that right? All right. Yes. So first, you got to build. A little more gentle, maybe. You, step one as a hairstylist, because I am a aspiring hairstylist. Okay. And I already know that first you want to build rapport. Yes. yes. You have a beautiful. You want to take their head and press it down as hard as you can. <laughs> you have a beautiful head of hair. Lots Call of compliments, Miss Mendez. Okay, so step one, we're going to want to section out the hair. So I think what we should start with is a basic one length haircut. Make sure you're holding the scissors the right way. Like this? Yes, like this. So mm -hmm. this pointy thing is up. Pointy thing up. You're gonna comb the hair down. Go all the way down. All the way down. And then you cut straight across, as so. Okay. And then you have a line. You go all the way down. So you wanna all the way straight down. 
Because if you lift the hair up, you're going to get layers with elevation. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. That felt, that felt so wrong. So this is going more into layers, but that's okay. Well, We're doing it. You did two things that she said nothing. I want it all to be this length. <laughs> no, okay. what, she, but she said if you lift it up and cut it, you create layers, and that's what you just did. Do you want layers, Brittany? I mean, it's ultimately up to you. Okay. Next, I'll show you a basic layering technique. So we're going to pull a section, and you lift the hair up. Whoa. All the way. And you cut the off the corners. So oh. you blend. Oh, you're feathering the edge. Exactly. So this is point cutting, so there's no hard lines in the haircut. And you connect the longer the, the piece that you're cutting to the piece that falls down. And so that's how you get a blended layered haircut. Okay. We might need to let you cut Brittany's hair and I cut Lenny's hair just because. I would be honored. You've got some. You've got more experience with like the technique and the you know the longer hair kind of thing. And Lenny is more. I think you know. I think some of the things that will be touching Lenny's head will be making noise, like zzz, buzzing noises. You know what I'm saying? That probably won't happen with Brittany. I'm more familiar with machines. Right. You're more familiar with scissors. Does that sound like a good compromise? Yeah. I, and I I I love having so much hair to work with, because then when I mess up, I can just keep going shorter and shorter and shorter. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right. That's one way to look at it. That's what I was thinking. Is there anything else happen. we absolutely have to know? Because I'm getting antsy. Mm -hmm. I think those are the basics. All right. They're caped up and switched up because, Brittany, I am going to be your stylist today. Do you want me to do things like that to your hair when I talk about you? Do you, would you, do you want I mean, you a gotta, massage? Are you, you got to get you used to for, touching. Are you paying for a cut style and massage? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, all right. Just, just relax. So should we start with a consult? Yes, a consultation is great. What's your vibe like? What kind is what kind of music do you like? Like death metal? <laughs> no. See, coming into this, I was thinking like I want a mullet because I just bought an Alabama vinyl. What? And, like they all had mullets, so I was like, That's well, you know cool. that bass over there. <laughs> I know. In Alabama. Wow. The the mullets are beast. trending. <laughs> That's true. You just told me that you want a mullet. Yeah. Say no more. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, you would have an epic mullet. Right? Do you play an instrument? No. You better you start. Play <laughs> yeah. Now we've got this part up here, though. Like typically, you want a parted mullet. Like you want. I, I mean, mean, I'm liking the idea. Of, like all of this. First of all, you got all of this length here, mm -hmm. which you want to. I mean, I definitely want to. I definitely like that back curtain. Mm -hmm. Staying there. Yep. We want to keep that length. And then, now are you saying like shaved on the sides? I mean, I don't know about You're shaving, pushing me, girl. What kind of work do you do? I just work in a restaurant, nothing too serious. And they don't, they don't have any stipulations? No, I work at Outback, so. Oh, okay. perfect. No rules. <laughs> perfect. No rules there. Could you make the top of the mullet like a blooming onion? <laughs> because Certainly. that could be interesting. Make people hungry, no. get more tips. <laughs> so Lenny, what's your job? I am a registered nurse. Registered nurse. Yep. It's better than an unregistered nurse. <laughs> um, what kind of patients do you work with? Um, I work with kids. Oh, actually. yeah. You have a, you, okay. So it's like you, you you bring some fun into the situation. Yep. You you want a fun haircut, right? Is that what I'm hearing? So fun. Uh, <laughs> okay, that didn't seem too sincere. <laughs> What's the most extreme hairstyle you've ever had? You know, I've actually played it pretty safe my whole life. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you feeling adventurous today? I feel so adventurous. Oh, so adventurous. Yeah. How do you feel about animals? Animals? Which animal are you thinking of? <laughs> Where is this going? How do you feel about iguanas? I love reptiles. You love reptiles? Uh, yeah. They're pretty cool. Okay, how would you like um, it to seem like you had a iguana on top of your head? <laughs> if you could do it, I would let you. Okay, well, I have a plan. But I just want to make it look like some sure. sort of four-legged animal All right. has decided to perch itself atop your head. Do and then we're not doing... <laughs> We're not doing any sort of uh, coloring here because we're just doing right. style. Yeah. But you can always then, you know, for the kids, <laughs> uh, you could color this anything you wanted to. Let's start cutting. Yeah! Skip, <laughs> <laughs> skip, skip, skip. Oh my gosh, what happened? Look at that. I'll lay that right there. Thank you for the reminder. 
kind of like a, this is sacrifice to the hairstyle gods. Got it. And I'm going to do a great job. How you feeling, Lenny? Um, like an iguana. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're supposed to say, like a man who has an iguana well, on his I really his haven't head. done oh, anything right, right. else. Oh, okay. I've just kind of clarified my... Okay, so, so this now... This is happening now. All right. We're going to take a look at what we have so far. Trying to figure out, because we're basically, we want to make wanna a triangle make, here. Cut some of this in there as well, so it's more, you know what I mean? So it kind of blends in. Do you have a significant other? I do. So we want this to be shorter. Okay. Or engaged, we actually. Yeah. Oh, you're engaged. Yep. We can also cut it short. But no not worry. married. So not yet. Some When's the wedding? Uh, the November, so it'll grow. <laughs> short Hold on, a hey, newsflash. Um, Lenny's getting married in November. What? <laughs> okay, so he has a wedding in November. I got time. Uh, It'll grow back. Yeah, man. You're Where is your fiance right now? Hanging out. <laughs> hey, listen. Do they know woman. that? Yes, she knows. She knows. Does she that... know that it's gonna be an iguana? <laughs> no, I didn't know it was gonna be an iguana. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think. First of all, I think you're gonna like this so much that you're probably gonna wear this iguana. You know what? She's probably gonna get one too. Y'all probably gonna be the two iguanas walking down the aisle. <laughs> But if not, I do believe that you can just have just a cool, significantly shorter than you were planning on haircut for your wedding. I think that's a good sign for your marriage. Huh? She's Thank letting you. you do your thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to express yourself. Yes, yeah. But that goes both ways. You got to let her express herself. Oh, I do. <laughs> you don't know anything about this relationship, <laughs> Link. I, I do I, know that I have potentially complicated the relationship a little bit today. You're, you're definitely testing it. Yeah, right, yeah. November what? Fourth. Ooh, early November. <laughs> early. I was hoping you were gonna say after Thanksgiving, but it's okay. I'm trying to figure, when you say faded, like so this, we, will, uh, this will be shorter. Yep. I forgot what this felt like. See, cause all this under long. here oh, yeah. is what we're gonna wanna, what we're gonna yes. wanna keep. Yep, we'll keep all of that. Yeah. Let's lift it up a little bit. So we're layering while we're cutting. So the there breeze. you go. I like right that. It's just a cool. I like that. Short. So I'm just gonna. Jamie, you wanna check in? I yes. feel like I've got this cut in and nice. Great job. Even. Yep. We got to take this hair off because it's in the way. I'm just gonna hack it and pray that you don't hate me. Okay, yeah, this could be even shorter. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. All of this. Nope. Maybe leave that. Some of, we'll only leave this, because that's the, that's the we'll end of that. it. We'll leave that. Don't yeah. start humming and cutting, okay? Don't start singing and cutting. <laughs> Too early for that. You kind of look like a freaking rock star. I love it. Yeah. Great. See, the thing about there a bold go. hair choice is that you, that you really got to have the attitude to back it up, and I think you, both of you guys do. So you, you know, it's it's really confidence, confidence boosters. It's not about what your hair looks like, it's about what your face looks like underneath it, like the face you're making. Like if you have a confident face and you're walking down the street, you're gonna be like, oh, that was intentional. What's the shortest your hair's ever been, Brittany? Uh, not this short, <laughs> tell you that much. Oh, really? <laughs> no. You dating Except anyone? Uh, nope. Okay, well you will be. <laughs> and but it'll, be, a, it'll be a here. different type of person than you've ever dated. I'm really concentrating. Okay. Right now, um, you look kind of like a, one of those dolls that like a toddler gets a hold of with scissors. That's just my, that's, that's on me. You are the toddler, so. I'm the toddler. But we gotta make this thing into an iguana. We could get it a little bit shorter. This is your masterpiece. That's gonna involve a little chick, 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 chick. Sure is. A train? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We gotta take you to the train station to get that haircut. I feel like I've entered a zone. Uh, the but it kinda zone. looks like the auto zone. <laughs> <laughs> and Lenny, you're you're looking good over there. Oh, thank you. It's very satisfying cutting hair. I mean, the thing that I didn't like about the idea of becoming a hairstylist is having to talk to people. I There's can't, a lot of talking. I can't do two things at once. I can't, I can't talk and cut. Like I'm trying to do it right now, and like, 
I have no clue what I'm what I'm saying. Chipmunk nuts. You know, it's like I don't know what's going on. I gotta cut the legs in. Let me just think about what an iguana looks like. If an iguana were to perch on top of your head. So So this the, we got the hair behind the ears. It would be I think like, it needs to be a little shorter. Be shorter. The front yeah, legs a little shorter would be over like here. this and then reaching forward. Oh yeah, good form. Right? I think this could be in my Maybe. future. You know? I do too. I'm gonna look at a picture of an iguana on the internet. I mean, they don't let me touch sharp objects here. So I think there's something about the allure of constantly having something okay, that could so draw blood or remove an back. ear or the end of a nose. Wow. Just like that. Okay. You know? Jamie, when you get done with that, I might need a consult because okay. I'm about to cut the first leg in, the right front leg, <laughs> and I need to know if I should go no guard. <laughs> Obviously, if I go no guard, then I've really got something to work with here. I've got a lot of contrast. Yes. I would say for detail work, you're gonna want no guard. So you, so this is it, this is your shot. No, it's just gonna be the sides of your head that have are basically completely yeah. bald except for iguana legs. All right. How's that feel? Bald. But the top is gonna be just an iguana body. All right. Snippy, snippy, snippy. What am I trying to do here? I've lost the plot. What are we doing? Well, it's definitely looking like a mullet. All right, Jamie, take, come take a look at that. Okay. So basically we have, you know, we've got the outlines of... Great, <laughs> it's looking good. I mean, it, it's a cool design, isn't it? It is. It's so really now the trick is to get that exactly on the opposite side. It's, yeah, that's, you know, <laughs> do we have like a mold or anything that we can work with? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kenny Powers, eat your heart out, <laughs> right? Lenny, I'm gonna try something. Right now, it's a cool design, like almost like lightning bolt kind of thing. Uh huh. We don't really have any iguana toes, but right. maybe if I just put a couple of streaks in here, worst case scenario, it just looks stripes. It kind of looks like just more yeah, of a cool yeah, design. Yeah. Look down. I always like to do that. Look down. <laughs> like that makes me feel like a real beautician. Look down. I feel like we're in like style mode now. I'm I'm actually moving think? to style mode. What do you think? Yeah. So how do we do that? Do we need to go to the? So we can spray do we the need hair to down. Merge her. We don't oh, have we just, to do that. We can spray okay. it. All right, in the front. I'm gonna spike up the rest. Just gonna wet it down. We're just wetting it down. Jamie, what do you suggest for this for the spiky uh, spiky in the middle? I mean, we've got our. What kind of products do we have here? So, we, so we've so we got a clay pomade and uh, we have a beard balm. We I would that. say let's start with the pomade. And you can work it in to the hair. We're gonna need to go pretty heavy on this stuff. Yes. So you're gonna wanna fully saturate it and then pull it up. So what am I trying to do here? All I've done is wet it and then mess with it. Okay, so we're gonna put some product in her hair too. Oh man, this is gonna so we good. can grab some pomade. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna shape the mullet where you want it to go. I feel like, just like if I had style. something that was even a little bit, maybe I could just maybe I blow dry that. Yeah. All right, now before I give her a complete blowout and you finish your styling, I wanna tell you guys about our newest addition to Psych, our summer collection. We're both wearing shirts from our Psych collection. As you know, everything at psych.la changes right before your eyes using either heat, light, could be sweat, could be water. If the two of us walk out, these. if the two of us walk out into the sun, these shirts will completely change their meaning and we're showing you that right now. Also, we're not just stopping with shirts. We got a hat. We got we got a hat and I think you might If you need to wear this in front of the one children, of these. in All case right. you think the children might be scared of your new haircut, you can wear the hat. I like it. And these may look like just tasteful swim trunks. But they're not. They change when they get wet and they reveal a nice little design which is open to your interpretation. But we didn't stop there because if you're gonna get wet, you gotta get dry. It could be a sun or it can be a burger. It could be both. Shop the whole collection now at psych.la. Transform your summer. I just came up with that. Transform your summer. I just summer. came up with that. Yeah. Transform your summer, psych.la. All right, Brittany. I'm about to give you a blow up. Oh, this is a workout, Jamie. It is. All right, Brittany. I, I, I think I'm done over here. 
Uh, yeah, well, I want to show you. I'm going to reveal the back to you guys since you've been seeing the front, and I've got another idea. But yeah, go ahead and uh, let's let's reveal, reveal Brit Brittany. Let me get this off of you here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you business in the front, party in the outback. <laughs> now, would you like to see yourself here? I guess. Take it. Take a hold of it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's a mullet. <laughs> I mean, it's it's definitely a mullet. Yeah. You know, you pull this around. <laughs> That's nice. And then it really, I really think it looks cool. It's not the worst. I was expecting a lot worse. Oh, really? Yeah. And I think it looks good. <laughs> and I left you some hair, to, some length to play with up uh -huh. here. So right now I've got it in like, you know, you're, you're, you're going for a night out on the town. You're, you're slicked back. But then there's also more of a, more of a tussled kind of like stick your head out the window or just you're, you're, you're taking your motorcycle to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. You know, type That's of a point. thing. So, so you, there's different looks. You can bring this hair down. Yeah. You can have more of a bang situation. It's very versatile. It is very versatile. I like it. I, I honestly really do. You'll get used to it. <laughs> I mean, it's a drastic difference. Yeah, that is very true. All right, Lenny, you ready to show yourself yep. to the world? Sure. And to show what you, I did to you to yourself? Yep. Uh, here. Um, I mean, I mean. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Don't to, use a brush on his. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you see that iguana that's perched on his head? You see that? You see? And you can keep growing that rat tail forever and ever and ever and ever. Now, I have an idea for something because... Um, You're not done? Yeah. Just one more little, let's one more little touch here. I believe that this is perfect. <laughs> it could be a little bit bigger. You can get a bigger head. <laughs> right. You ready to see this? Oh yeah. Yo! <laughs> oh, 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 lost the head. <laughs> let's get it in there, let's get it in there. There he is, nice right. and nestled, nice and nestled. Right. I'll name him Rhett. <laughs> oh man. There's a snake head living in your iguana you hair. Can you, can, can you see the side, like, you really gotta get that side view because you see yeah, his back yeah. legs because the way the legs work on the anatomy oh, yeah. of an iguana. He's, he's got like, little he's toes just, too. He's yeah. just kind of, he's, he's perched on you like All that. Right. A snake headed iguana is mating with the top of your head. Oh. You can probably get like a real, and like a real taxidermized iguana head on Amazon, I'm sure, or at least Etsy. I probably won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you show this to your future wife and your in-laws, I think maybe you need to have the iguana head on there just so they understand the full concept. Right, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. So you feeling good? Feeling great. Okay. That's all that matters. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> thinking, I'm shaving my head completely. No, no, <laughs> you look like a badass, man. But the real yeah. question at this point is, Jamie, what is your assessment of who is the better hairstylist? Wow, that is a tough question. Um, I think you're both great hairstylists. I will have to say this is a bit more of an artistic masterpiece. Thank you, but. And <laughs> yours is amazing too. I think it's the little details that really. Make his. Stupid. Yeah, it stands out. Yeah, his is, his is, his is crazy, but it just <laughs> doesn't really work for like an actual hairstyle. I He's mean, gonna walk into a children's hospital with a snake in his hair. Is he gonna, <laughs> is he gonna get married with that? I think that depends on his fiance. We'll see. Are Thank you, you gonna know. get a whole lot more dates of a totally different genre? <laughs> yes. We'll have to report back, but what you're saying is So hold on, point. so you were building up that yes, he did a great job, but the winner is... 
<laughs> hey, I like you, Jamie. <laughs> but the winner is, yeah, no further discussion. I have to go with this one. Uh, iguana I, hair. Right? Yeah, I, I realize that's I've never that's seen an iguana hair before. It's the first time. So. Is there a prize? I've seen mullets. Oh. She asked for you, Lucas. <laughs> oh, I. It's that. amazing. You did I'm a great gonna job. I'm going to put this too. on my desk. Cutting style, Kyle. <laughs> Uh, yes, just in case there's any serious regrets, we are giving you a box of tissues that we have addressed to you and signed. Yeah. Thank you. Look, it, we signed it and everything. Let's give it up for Lenny and Brittany for submitting themselves to this today and getting these very, very mythical hairstyles. Yeah, you guys are great sports. Thank you. And also thank you to Jamie for training us and making sure things didn't go too wrong. And make sure you check her out on Instagram at Jamie Maloney if you're looking for a new do in the greater Los Angeles area. Thanks, thank Jamie, you. I learned so much. And thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now you guys all say, you know what time it is. You know, you what, know time what time it, it is. is. My name is Adam, I'm from Boise, Idaho, and it has been one year since my last haircut. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Well, I don't think you can. That wasn't a haircut, it. though. <laughs> There's no, there's no. That was still not a haircut. No cut. I thought there was going to be an after photo of a haircut. Click the top link to watch us match crazy wild hairstyles to even crazier occasions and good mythical bull. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land, go to psych.la and check out our entire summer collection.